Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on this Saturday morning. Rounds of severe weather once again heading into the weekend. Last night's tornadoes in and around the Bismarck area. That storm worked its way through. We're going to recover temperature-wise, and the heat and humidity will add to another risk of severe weather. In this update, we'll talk about when and where. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks for watching and thanks for your trust in covering your weather. We have some exiting storms making their way into southeast Minnesota. Not severe, but that's from the cluster of activity that worked its way into our area. We're heating up nicely with the sunshine here, and that will lead to a risk of some severe weather as we go through the day today. Here's the basics from the Storm Prediction Center. This will be updated this afternoon, but anywhere in yellow from South Dakota, north central parts of Nebraska into southern Minnesota and southeast North Dakota, that's a level two risk of severe weather on a five level scale. That means several storms could fire in this area and they could become severe fairly quickly. Very large hail, damaging straight line wind and even some tornadoes will be uh, the risk as we go through the day. Let's start with the tornado risk. If you are in Lakes Country, Southern Ottertail County, Grant County, this area here in Brown from Morris through St. Cloud, Minneapolis, all the way up towards Mora, south towards the Marshall and Madison area and Watertown, South Dakota, 5% risk. That's the greatest risk area of tornadoes. The risk of large tornadoes is not high, uh, is not zero, but we will have some spin in the atmosphere once again today. If you are in Ottertail County, Southern Becker County, through the Brainerd Lakes area, you have a 2% risk there, and we're not far from that here in the FM area as well. I'll have a video coming up here, and you can click on that link here on my YouTube channel to see the very latest on the track and timing of these storms. But this is the area we're watching. Now, the main risk tonight will be the monster-sized hail once again. The best chance of that is where you see the circle here as I pop back up on screen for you. Uh, to take a look at that. Now, what we have going on is the essential uh, area here in central Minnesota, Fergus Falls, uh, all the way into Wadena County. Very large hail risk once again. Last night, baseballs in and around the area of the capital city. That's a look at your weather. I'll have details on the timing. And uh, please keep in mind, I may not be able to be here. I'm heading to a family event, a celebration of life today. So I may not be available to cover the storms in the early onset. I'll have details on the timing and track. You can get information wherever you can find information on hutchesweather.com is a great one source stop. I will update once I am able to a little bit later. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay weather aware. If storms approach your area, know they could quickly become severe south and east of Fargo primarily today.